Hey, I'm releasing for testing today Xcolidraw 1.2 and I just like to walk you through some of the changes. This is a major release or a major change. I'm moving away from the proprietary Xcolidraw file formats uh, to the Obsidian standard Markdown file formats and as such it will require a migration and there's a migration script here uh, and this move to the markdown file format opens up a whole bunch of opportunities and uh, so let's just cover some of those um, i am now supporting aliases uh, so in the links that you have in drawings now uh, i'll show you how this works but you can use uh, the standard alias uh, setup uh, i'm actually um, or this uh, release solves the problem of showing drawings in the backlinks of documents. Uh, I now support transclusion of uh, blocks uh, in the drawing as well as you can transclude text from the drawing in your uh, documents. Uh, because I'm using Markdown you can add whatever tags you want in the document as well as you can use the front matter to add additional metadata and also drawings now show up in the graph view so those are some of the bigger changes and uh, just looking at graph view at first and this graph is now filtered on the boston box uh, you can see that the Xcolid draw files didn't show up here. Actually, what you can see even more so is right now you don't even see the Xcolid draw files here uh, unless you have the detect all file extensions turned on. Uh, after you install release 1.2, the Xcolid draw files will disappear from your vault and if you click on an Xcolidraw file then Obsidian will bring up this dialog to look for the application to run it so this no longer works uh, this is why I have my uh, migration script and you need to choose migrate to version 1.2 and what this does is it replaces or updates these files uh, to uh, markdown files the Xcolid draw file extension is no longer required this was just simply the way to transform these files uh, that I kept the original file name and now if I click on it then indeed uh, the drawing uh, does come up and what I want to show you is here in the options menu now I have this open as markdown as an option and here you can see that the document has in the front matter uh, something and then I have my text elements each of them with a block reference and then I have the drawing uh, itself and I can switch between the drawing view and the um, markdown view also if I open up graph view then uh, you may notice that now the drawings have appeared uh, here uh, in the drawing as well and so for example if I want to click on the SWOT analysis um, item then I can do so and you can see um, the, the SWOT analysis uh, here so then let's uh, look at how the links and uh, aliases work uh, so I'm going to ungroup this selection so I can get to my Boston box and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply uh, add uh, uh, the brackets square brackets around it now you can see that this no longer fits uh, its original place but we will sort, sort it out shortly what i want to show you is uh, and this was a feature already working if i now shift uh, control click on it then uh, the document uh, containing or the document referenced uh, by that uh, link opens up here i want to bring your attention to this lock this is now unlocked uh, this is sort of the preview and edit mode this is the, this document for the text boxes in now edit mode 
if I lock it, then this is in preview mode. And now the link is rendered. Um, you can say that nothing has changed. Well, yes, something has changed. I just have a setting here. Uh, I come to call it draw and here in the settings, I have show brackets around links. I'm going to remove that. And um, let's just put in maybe this uh, pointing hand uh, as the uh, icon to denote links and then you can see that my text was rendered uh, with that hand and this is how i know that this is a link if i want to edit this i cannot i get a message that uh, i need to unlock and i can unlock either by clicking the lock or i can click ctrl shift e and that switches back to edit mode and with this uh, i can place it uh, right here uh, back uh, in its place well it, it will not uh, look exactly good because uh, this wasn't uh, sized for this but uh, okay i want now I want to show you how the transclusions work so let's say uh, we come to the swot analysis um, document and i want to uh, reference uh, maybe this sentence right here uh, so this is the internal positive capability sentence that I want to reference in my drawing. So I can come to my drawing, I can create a reference uh, text and if I switch to markdown view I can scroll down to reference and I would love if I remember what I read here a moment ago, the uh, internal positive uh, there we go I'm just going to block reference this text simply by uh, putting my exclamation mark double bracket and then just uh, typing in uh, this text and I've created a block reference to this and now if I switch back to my view you can see that uh, because this is right now rendered uh, this uh, text uh, appears here. If I click uh, the edit mode, then I can see the block reference itself and I can see that the lock uh, is unlocked. And uh, that is, I think, pretty much the, the, the core of what has changed. Now, there are some changes uh, here and there, like I've added this feature to export to an Excolidraw file, so you can still get uh, the good old Excolidraw file. Uh, also, uh, I've moved the PNG and SVG exports here, and if I control click on these, then again I can export outside uh, Obsidian uh, these files, and overall. Um, yeah, there's, uh, let me just see some uh, other changes as well. Yes, yeah, so let me just show you this, that if I come back to my drawing um, and if I come to Markdown, I can go ahead and um, maybe add my test tag here. And what's going to happen is the test tag has no impact on the document, but here, if I look for uh, my, uh, what was the name, test tag, uh, then in the search results, uh, my uh, drawing will show up as well. And maybe just to show you one more uh, interesting thing is if I come to the Boston Box document, this has a backlink now. And if I look at uh, the backlinks, I can see that the SWOT analysis ex draw drawing uh, also references uh, this uh, document. So you can see that the black backlinks uh, are working as well. And uh, that's, well, aliases, I, I almost forgot. But I think uh, you can very easily imagine how uh, aliases work so i'm just going to 
uh, call this uh, box like this and now if I render then this is just going to be box as the alias and of course if now uh, I would change Boston box maybe to Boston dash box uh, then what will happen is uh, here my box uh, remains my box but of course the file name has changed to uh, Boston dash box and uh, you can you can edit it here as well maybe just one last thing to show which i think can be a fun option is if i uh, open this document uh, on the side and i turn this uh, to uh, markdown view then i can go ahead and i can maybe let's just change most uh, into uh, well i'm going to be just silly here to XXX and you can see that on the drawing it changed so in some cases you might find it easier to uh, type uh, in markdown and it will uh, keep uh, your drawing uh, in sync so I hope you like uh, this new release uh, please keep in mind that this is a test version make a backup of your data before you use it and please uh, record any issues you find uh, on github thank you